Hi, I'm John Adam, host of The John Adam Show. We're here at the Maristone Studios to tell you about another great event coming up from Enterprise Network to help you grow your business. The presenter at this month's executive forum is entrepreneur and best-selling author Peter H. Thomas. His new book is called Be Great, The Five Foundations of an Extraordinary Life in Business and Beyond. Peter, welcome. Thanks, John. It's really nice to be here. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Let's start things off. Would you please tell the audience just a little bit about yourself? Sure. Well, I'm, I'm English. I was born in England, actually, and I came to Canada when I was uh, seven years old. My whole career was in Canada. Joined the Canadian Army, uh, finished seven years service, and uh, then got into the real estate business. And uh, got in by buying the usual way, by buying a small apartment block, and actually buying a house first, then a small apartment block, and making some money, and realizing that this was a pretty extraordinary career. So uh, spent, you know, about, say, 15 years in the real estate business, and the real estate operates in cycles, as you probably know, and I uh, wound up buying the rights for Century 21 for Canada. And uh, we grew it to the point where it had about 8,500 salespeople and was doing about $9 billion a year. And uh, I was kind of getting ready to retire, and so I was looking around for a buyer, sold the company, and used the money to fund a, uh, a real estate venture capital bank. And uh, came down, the, the cycle in Canada sort of was going down, while the cycle in Arizona looked like it was at the bottom and going up. It was back in 95. So I came down to check around and uh, saw some amazing, what I felt, just unbelievable real estate opportunities. And that's what got me here. And you built one of our signature properties here in Arizona. Correct. I, it was really quite funny because I, I was driving around, looking around, and somebody said the site was for sale out by True North, and uh, it was 40 acres. And I, and I looked at it, and there's a Canadian hotel chain called uh, The Four Seasons. And I looked at it, and I said, wow, you know, this could really be a great Four Seasons property. So anyway, bottom line is we wound up buying it and putting the Four Seasons on it, like you know, getting the Four Seasons to go with me. So that's where the Four Seasons site is in Troon now. We built that from, uh, it opened up in 2000. That's fantastic, wonderful to have you here. So tell us, what will you be talking about at the upcoming Executive Forum? Well, I have a, a philosophy um, about um, setting values. I've written books about it, and we, I, I've taught a program about it called Life Pilot for years, and it's about how everybody needs to determine what their values are. You know? And um, no matter what aspect of your life you live, you should determine your values before you start. And so this has gone into the, my business ground rules. And I feel that the, to be successful, you set out what your values are, and then you live your life in alignment with those values. For, for example, you know, my own values are health, freedom, happiness, and integrity. And so everything I do in business or privately in my private life has to resonate with one of those values. So why do you think this is so important for business owners today? Oh boy, what a question. I don't have to tell you about the, the Madoffs and the Ponzi schemes and all that. You know, I've been a businessman for a long time. I'm 70 years old now. I've been in business for 40 years. And uh, I've, I've never seen such a proliferation of, of bad people giving a bad name to business. I, I've been in business all that time, and you'd be really honestly, I don't know any crooks personally. But yet, if I weren't in business and listened to the radio, the newspapers, and what have you, it's all about the Madoffs and, and, and those kind of people. And that's not the way business really is. Business is full of fantastic people, entrepreneurs, who I believe are the lifeblood of our community. So this book is about that, and about what I've done is interview a lot of really successful people. And uh, most of them live their life in alignment with their values. And you know, there's a little thing I call learning, earning, and returning. You know, you're in your learning years, your earning years, your returning years, you know? And I don't know any entrepreneurs that don't return in the later years, you know, as they, as they become more efficient. And most communities are built on the hard work of the entrepreneurs that built them. So I'm here to tell a bit about that, maybe, maybe paint a bit of the other side of the story, of the successful people and not the Madoffs of the business. Well, it's time we hear some good news about business. Now, tell us a little about the takeaways that the audience members can expect to get from your presentation. Yeah. Well, in, in my research and my studies over the last few years, I've developed a set of rules of what I think is important for business and, and for individuals. And it all bases what I call the five foundations, which I'm going to talk about more at the talk. Okay. But the first foundation is set your values. And when you talk about to successful people, I find the commonalities, they all have values and they, they live by them. The next thing is successful people know how to focus. They focus. And so I'm going to talk a bit about that. The next thing is they have the power of visualization. They, you know, they, they I think uh, Stephen Covey said, you begin with the end in mind. Right. That type of thing. 
The next thing that cr seems to be critical for people is inspiration. What inspires them to keep doing what they do? Why do they keep coming back? Why do they go through these up and downs of the economy and yet seem to get up and fight again? I talk a bit about that because successful people have that power. And the last thing I talk about is reflection and how to use a, some interesting rules of reflecting back upon your successes to help you climb higher mountains. Uh, this sounds like an incredible presentation. I'm really looking forward to it. If you're an executive partner watching this, there's a special meet and greet the evening before the executive forum. So check out the website for more details. And Peter, thank you very much. We look forward to your presentation. For those of you watching, for more information for this event, please join us on Thursday, March 18th at the Lakeview Inn. And to register for the event, please visit www.en.org. We hope to see you there.